Hi guys, good morning. Give me a second. There's a little technical difficulties on my phone, so we're just going to get organized with transferring some stuff here, okay? So give me one sec, and we're going to get going. All right, just make sure that you guys have some weights available, and we're going to get going in a sec. Just trying to get everything onto the phone and get things reorganized. Had to go from my iPhone to my iPad. Things are not cooperating, but we're gonna get started in just a second. So today we're gonna be, um, I didn't title it, but I'll title it in a moment after we are done. I will get that title of what we're gonna be doing today. Let me just get some music going in a second. Okay, so today um, we're gonna be focusing on standing isometric mashups okay yesterday we did grounded today we're going to focus on the standing um you're going to want to have your dumbbells you're not going to have to go to the floor at all we're going to be starting with lower body uh movement and upper body activation with the isometric holds and then we're going to go to the um upper body movement and lower body isometric holds okay so let's just get started with that warm-up just give me a second I'm trying to see if i can power up some of that music All right, looks like that's not cooperating. Let's, we can go with CDs. So give me one second, guys, sorry. All right, here we go. There we go. All right. All right. Sorry about the delay. Get ready to march it out. Right and left. Get those shoulders down. We track back and engage that center. Right, left, right, left. March it out. Right, left. All right. Getting that clock set for our work today. Let's heal across. Push. Four here. Eight. Six. Four. Three. Two. Step. Touch. Take it side to side. Let's get that body warm. Eight more times. Last eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Heel across and reach. Tap. Tap. Tap.
lower this a little bit. Make sure you guys are hearing me. All right, watch me. We're going to grab those weights. We're going to get those shoulders down and back. We're going to bring them up here and hold them into this curl. So upper body is staying in an isometric hold. We're going to squat it down and up. 30 seconds there. And then your next exercise, you're going to hold a slight squat and give me a curl. Okay, so it's slight hinge forward and curling from there. Okay, keeping those elbows at your side. So let's set our position here. Get those shoulders down and back. Get set. Right there, hold your arms in position, right here, okay? Breathe through it and keep it moving through that lower body. Your upper body just staying in this nice, strong curl hold. seconds left right here. All right, you got your last 10 seconds, holding that squat and curling. Last two and one, take that moment up, get that little rest, reset the arms, and back to that leg movement right here. You want to try to get a little deeper. Try to bring those elbows all the way towards those quads right here. Last 10 seconds. Good. Release for a moment. Good. Reset. Hold that squat. Slight hinge forward and crawl from there. Engage that center so you're supporting that back. And if you need to come up from that position, come up. Continue with arm movement, because that's what you want to be doing here. Arm movement. Good. Rise up, and we're going to have one more set. Lock your arms in position. Hold that isometric position as you squat down and up. And we're going to have one circuit with the weights. Alternate circuits without the weight. We're using just your own body weight and really thinking about those contractions in both the isometric hold and the movement. Elbows. Keep 
keep that core engaged. You're coming on those last 10 seconds right here. And press it up. We're going to put those weights down. All right, now you're not going to be using the weights right here. We're going to interlock those fingers behind the head or loosely here. And we're going to hinge forward. These are called good mornings right here. Keeping that chest open. And then we're going to hold that position here. Get those elbows back, the arms up. And we're going for W reaches, okay? So you've got 10 seconds. Interlock. Open up that chest. Now, when we're here, our upper body is staying contracted. Lower body is moving right here with that hinge forward. Keep those knees just slightly bent. And you want to feel that nice stretch in the back of the legs. You're going to pull up from the lower back glutes and the hamstrings right here. But think about what that upper body is doing. Super active with those elbows back and that back squeeze nice and tight. 10 seconds. So this is our circuit without any weights. Just utilizing our own body movement and contractions. Good. Right here, we're going to hinge forward. We're going to get the elbows back into like a W. And from here, reach it up and pull it back. You want to really squeeze and retract those shoulder blades back. And you're holding that lower body position with that hinge forward, slight bend of those knees, engaging those glutes, those hamstrings, and breathe. Good, really squeeze as you reach and pull back. No weights, but you're gonna feel this. You don't need any weights for this. Good, hinge it back up, interlock the fingers, open up that chest, and back to just that hinge, up and down. Again, think about that nice upper active back right here, as you hinge forward and you come back up. Good, slight bend in those knees as you hinge forward, keep those knees nice and soft. And think about that movement coming from the hips. As you hinge forward and as you rise up, right there and work through it. You got it. Engage that back. You want really strong back right here as you reach it up and pull it down and back, okay? Keep it nice and strong. 15 seconds on that clock right here.
coming up. Good, go take a break. I'm gonna reset that clock. All right. Thank you. 
coming on those last 10 seconds. Keep pressing and fold that knee up nice and strong. You got it. Last two and one. All right, take a breather. Get some water and watch me for your next exercise. All right, we're gonna go with one heavy weight here. We're gonna take those legs out wide into that plate squat. Arms are gonna stay lifted here as you plie squat down and up, okay? Now obviously lose the arms if it's too much, rest them down here, okay? And then we're gonna get those arms up, we're gonna lower down, and we're gonna bend and extend right here. Now if you can't hold that plie squat, just hold that triangle position right here, but I want you to squeeze the glutes in the inner thighs even if you're extending through those legs, okay? All right, so we're starting with that plie squat. Arms overhead if you can for that upper body isometric hold. Get ready to bend and extend in two and one. Go, you are on that clock. So those legs are out wide, those toes are turned out, and those arms are up and over that head. Lower 
down, you're going to bend those knees. And right here, moving through that upper body. And that frontal raise all the way overhead or stop with those shoulders. Keep that sitting right there. I'm going to get ready to show you your next two moves coming up, okay? Hang in there, guys. Keep breathing and keep moving through it. 15 seconds. Last 10. Rise it up and lower down. Holding your lower body position. That's your isometric hold. Two and one. Get some more. You got 30 seconds. Watch me. We're going to bring our hands together out in front and we're going to take a leg up. I want you to push your hands together as you are bringing that leg up. Okay? If it's too much, just tap it back. And then we're going to either hold here or with that leg up and squeeze those back muscles right here for those reverse lines. Okay? So get into position and we'll switch every time. Get those hands pressed together in front right here. And again, either simply tap it as you pinch forward or leg is staying off of that floor and find the movement that you can do. And I'm keeping my hands pressed and glued together so I've got some activation of that upper body as I do this. Thank you. 
here. Last and final set. And you've got one more circuit to go. And it's going to be a weighted one to finish you out. Stay right there and breathe. 15 seconds left. Hang in there, guys. You got this. One more set right here. Last and final set. Eight more seconds. Three, two, and one. I'm going to reset that clock. You've got one more circuit to go. And once again, it's going to be a weighted one. So we're going to go with those light weights. We're going to hold them up here at 90 degrees bend. Okay? Palms are up. And we're going to go for a hip reduction as we hold those weights in place. And then watch this challenge move right here. You're going to cross that leg over. Okay? So see, I'm going to look like this. And we're going to push those weights out and in. Okay? Now right there, that's a challenge in and of itself. If you want to have more of a challenge, You can also keep it out here if you don't want to cross it over. Just take that toe to the ground in that little kind of hip abductor move, okay? Here if you can, even deeper here if you can, okay? So let's get those weights up in position. You want to hold it strong. You're going to feel those muscles activated up nice and tall. And just that right leg is going out and in for 30 seconds. And we're going to be switching sides on those legs once again. So you only have to do each side and hold in the lower body two times each. Good, stand up nice and tall. Balance those weights on your palms. I'm not even gripping, I'm keeping my fingers loose. So I feel like I'm just balancing them. Good, now you're gonna either hold here, here, or here with that bend and push those weights out in front of me. You can also have those feet flat, okay? Both feet flat on the floor and just focusing on that serving bicep move out and in right here. And we're gonna rest those arms down to our side as we take our five seconds heading into the other side. 10 more seconds here. Good, lower down, get ready, reset, 
shift your weight to the right so the left leg can come out and in. This is your final set, guys. Let's get it done. You're almost there, and our isometric focus week is going to be done. Bye-bye.